Hi, my name is Bob Evans and I am going to give you an overview of reinforced block retaining walls. So this is what the wall looks like. It's an L-shaped design. The blocks are hollow and are filled in with um, in-situ concrete um, which, and the hollow block section is reinforced and the rebar then goes into the foundation giving you this L-shape. There's a drainage pipe at the back of the wall to relieve um, hydrostatic pressure. The blocks come in various sizes, 200 millimeter, 256 and 440. This particular um, design is step ock blocks. Let me just show you some photographs. So you can see the walls are being cladded here with masonry or facing brick on these two examples. This is an example of a basement. These particular walls are mostly used in the construction of dwellings and buildings, what can be used um, for garden walls. Some more images. This image is showing the first layer of blocks being laid on a mortar bed. This allows the blocks to be lined up um, accurately and then the blocks can be stacked on top of each other from the first layer dry. The blocks can be doubled up for wider walls and to adjust the height of the wall you can just apply a shutter and then fill to the top of the shutter so then you can arrange any particular height of wall that you need. Let me explain the steel centres. So the reinforcement that goes down the wall which are the vertical bars for a 200 millimeter block it's 200 centers a 256 block it's 133 millimeter centers and a 325 block it's 163 millimeters the pore heights are eight courses for the 200 millimeter block and 10 courses for the 256 and 325 beyond eight courses and 10 courses the wall becomes unstable for pouring the concrete this is a design table that I've put together just to show you some designs and then from the designs we can put some budgets against each one. So we've got the, the wall height, the number of courses, the type of wall block that we're using, the base width and the base depth, the wall reinforcement, the top steel, bottom steel and the surcharge allowed. So for example, 16 is a 16 millimeter bar at 200 sensors a six millimeter bar at 200 centers and then these are mesh um, sizes. For the design we've allowed the ground pressure of 200 kilopascals and a surcharge of 10 kilonewtons. Every project is different, every retaining wall needs designed properly so please go and study the design page, watch the video to learn more about the design process. It's really, really important. Because we've done the designs or some guide designs, that then allows us to put some budgets against them. So these are the wall heights, then we've broken it down into labor, plant material, total and supply only. So for example, a wall height of 1.8 meters, 100 linear meters long is 180 square meters at 251 pound square meter, which is this one here giving a budget of 45,180. And then you can see budgets for supply only, which is just the blocks, labor, plants, and material. And these items here are excluded from the, these rates. These budgets are only approximate, just to give you a rough idea of the type of cost we're talking about to build a wall. But they're the very, very approximate and the prices will change. So thank you for listening. The next step will be to ask any questions or if you want to price, complete the relevant form below. Until then, thanks for listening. Bye for now.